Hey guys, it's Kat here from Fooding Box and today we are at this place which is called Meat and Cheese Fawn. It's in Nakamegaro, which is in Tokyo. Now, this place it has recently gone pretty viral on Instagram and TikTok for their really decadent American style food. So we're gonna try two different things today. The first one is their long carbonara noodle and the second one is a honey and cheese Chicago style pizza. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, we don't really eat much Italian food normally at home and I know we're in Japan so we probably should be eating some Japanese food but when I saw these pictures and videos I just couldn't resist so we're here let's try it and we'll let you know how it goes Alright, so this is the honey coated pizza, so we're going to give it a go. Um, there's so much cheese on this pizza though. It's like a barrel of cheese on its own, so much. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> as viral as that is, I don't know how I'm going to get through the cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. I'm praying to the lactose gods that I can make it through tonight, but it was worth every single bite. Honestly though, with the amount of cheese that they use, for 2,800 yen, I use a kilo of cheese. You won't get a kilo of cheese for like less than 15 bucks from the shops. Oh, it's It's so messy. Oh, yes, so we made it to the Pesto Resistance. The best part of this place is the super long sheet of pasta with awesome meat around the sides. Gimmick alone, it's still looking like a very good mix of carbonara sauce, sheet of pasta and roast beef it looks like on the outside. So. It's gonna be delicious. The cheese was delicious. The um, deep dish cheese was delicious. Um, but this is gonna be something else. So you even get these um, beautiful pieces of beef on the side to complement the carbonara dish. And when trying it, you know, I, I thought it would be like lasagna sheets or something, gimmicky. But it's actually just a long piece of pasta that hasn't been sliced up into spaghetti, which is making it just taste like pasta, but 
You can have as much pasta in the bite as you want. Absolutely. You really have to try it yourself to understand. But it's not all hype. It actually tastes good. Good at the end of the day. The beef is cooked to perfection. Mm. Combine that with the pasta. Wait, <laughs> you got it all over you. <laughs> Definitely can't eat it like normal pasta though. I tried. Okay, so we've had a bit of the pizza, we've had a bit of carbonara pasta, and I have to say, it's pretty good. I honestly think it's probably one of the best carbonaras we've had. And coming from Australia, where we have a ton of Italian food, that is definitely saying something. I did think that the carbonara was going to be a bit of a gimmick. And look, there is a lot of theatrics in it, but the pasta itself actually tastes really good. It's cooked perfectly al dente. It's not too soggy. It's not too firm. And the addition of the rare roast beef really just rounds out the whole dish and gives you a little bit of extra flavor for the carbonara. As for the pizza, I've got to be honest, it was a little bit too cheesy for me. But I think if you're going to be eating with a big group, it's definitely a good idea to get the pizza because you just have to have a few little slices each. But because it's just me and Alex, we have to eat half the pizza each and it is a little bit too much. But overall, I'm still not mad that we, I'm not mad that we ordered it though because it definitely was an experience. Overall, I think this is definitely a place to check out if you are in the Nakameguro area. We're just very close to the Starbucks Reserve. So if you finished having a coffee there and you're still a little bit hungry, maybe come and check this place out because the food is pretty good. Okay guys, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you would do if you were given that much cheese on a pizza. I'm losing it right now. I hope to God that I make it through the night, but some people might like that much cheese on their pizza. So let me know in the comments down below if you could handle the deep dish pizza. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Alex from Foodbox, and until the next video, see you guys next time.